everybody, it's Steve. And if you've got DMX lights and a DMX controller, to hook the two together, you need a DMX cable. And if you've got a lot of lights, it can take a lot of cables. But there's another way you can do it. If you have a wireless DMX setup, like this one from Van Goa, you can basically set up your entire rig and get rid of all your cables. In this video, I want to first unbox one and then show how to set it up, including changing the ID codes, and finally show a few different ways you could set it up that may work for your own lighting rig. Well, let's see what's in the box. It comes in its own little zippered carrying case. Instruction manual. And here are the seven receivers. Each one has its own individual power supply. And then here's the transmitter. This set comes with one transmitter and seven receivers. And each one is powered by this small five volt power supply that plugs in with a USB cable. So let's take the transmitter, plug it into our trusty Obey 40 controller, plug in the power supply, and we'll do the same thing. We're gonna take the receiver, plug it in to the PAR light, which is daisy chained to a second PAR light, plug in the power to it, And you'll see that the transmitter is blinking red and the receiver is blinking green. That means that they're paired and when they're paired, you have a wireless connection. Voila. Now normally with any new gear, I psych myself up for a long involved setup time to get everything working perfectly. But this thing worked immediately, literally just plug and play. All seven receivers are connected to the transmitter with the same ID code. But if you wanted to add a second system or more for more complex lighting rigs, you could set each to its own unique ID. And to do that, you take this tiny tool that comes taped to the instruction manual and you press the button in this little hole. There's seven codes. Each one is represented by a different color or color combination. We'll press the button until the LED turns blue, and then we'll do the same thing on the receiver. Press until the light is blue. And now when the transmitter blinks red and the receiver blinks green, it's connected again, but this time with a different ID code. This system operates at 2.4 gigahertz and the manufacturer claims a range of 400 meters if you've got a clear line of sight. I've been running it at a maximum of about 30 feet with no problems. This has been running with a single receiver in the first PAR light that stays chained to a second PAR light. But let's disconnect the cable and just plug in a second receiver And that works perfectly. Here's a more real life example with the transmitter plugged into a MyDMX3 interface controlled by a computer. And these two light stands each have a pair of PAR lights daisy chained to a light bar, but each one has its own wireless receiver plugged into the DMX in at the beginning of the chain. And as you can see, it works really well and much better than running the long cables out to the light stands. And here's adding a third receiver to a mover that would typically be placed at a distance from the stands. Everything works together very well. 
As of September 2023, these are under $200 on Amazon at the link below. And frankly, if I would have known how easy it was to set this all up and get it running, I probably would have done it a while ago. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks so much for watching.